Hi everyone, it's Lita and welcome back to another video. I've been gone for quite a while, but I am back. Um, basically what happened was that I just didn't have access to m my recording equipment or the Switch that I played this island on because I was not here. I had to move out of the last place because I was renting and I was just staying here for a bit. And then I had to take care of some other stuff. So yeah, but I'm back now for a little bit. I still have to move into the next place eventually, but that's all getting sorted out. So today we're going to do a villager hunt. Um, I have looked at all the villagers that we have and we do not have a snooty. So we're going to be on the hunt for a snooty villager. Um, but first, I need to put a plot down. I put a plot down yesterday. I was like prepping for this video and it got sold. They got sold to stew. So that's fun. So let's get a plot. I think that's good and I was thinking since my goal is to get every single villager at least once I'm gonna do every other one I'll villager hunt and I'll just let the rest autofill also if you've noticed a change I don't actually know if this is gonna work or not but I am no longer doing subtitles by myself if this actually turned out the way it is because it takes about an extra week and a half for me to do it makes it so I don't really look forward to editing that much so I am gonna try and do I know YouTube do subtitles so I'm gonna try that out see if I can do them myself on YouTube I don't actually know how it works and if it doesn't work you'll see them but um, yeah I'm gonna try that out just so I can get more videos out um, because my videos are really really spaced apart but yeah so I just wanted to point that out and now we're going to our first island which I'm excited Hopefully it doesn't take a long time. This is the second villager hunt. And I remember we got Gale on the first one. Well, let's see. Let's see who it is. Okay. I feel like this villager will be up top. I want to meet it. So I want to see who it is. But that's definitely not Snoot. Oh my god. Who is that? Oh, that... Um, okay. Who who are you? I've never seen this one before. <sighs> Do we have a cranky? I don't think we have a cranky. But I want to get snooty first because I really, really want Julia. I really, really like peacocks. And I think she's really pretty. But I didn't really like snooties when I got them on my OG island. Um, I think I had... Oh my god, I forgot who I had. Um, I'll put her here. I know what she looks like, so I'll put her here um, when I figure it out. But I didn't I didn't like her a lot. Because I thought she was really mean. <laughs> so, yeah. But I like Julia. I love her design. I think she's so cute. So, yeah. Oh... Okay, very, very, I feel like Z I always find Zucker on these islands and I've, she was in my campsite yesterday. I didn't bring her in because, oh, she's so cute though. Is she a normal? I feel like she's a normal. She's really cute, but you're not Julia, but I didn't do anything yesterday. I kind of did a little, like I started Project K. I just wanted to prepare because I haven't actually been on this um, switch in like a month. So I needed to just kind of sort everything out and get prepared for today. Okay, let's see if it's Julia. Oh my god, do I have to climb all the way up top? 
Oh, no, that's not the ladder. Hold on, okay. Please be Julia. Oh. Well. Definitely not Julia. Ah, uh, I think. I think Animal Crossing wants me to get a cranky, but I don't want a cranky right now. There's barely any um, women <laughs> on my island. I want more women. Okay, well, that's not Julia. I really hope we find her soon. I don't have a lot of tickets. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna talk about my life while we wait for Julia. Um, ironically, nothing has really been happening. <gasps> oh, I love this villager. Wait a minute. No, I'm not gonna get on with Julia. She's so cute. Oh. I, I thought it was a different villager. <laughs> okay, um, the teeth kind of freak me out. A little bit. I know it looks like a rabbit, but I just, I was not expecting that face when that villager turned around. Anyways, so what's happening in my life is I actually got an Animal Crossing tattoo. It was my sixth tattoo and it's not completely healed yet. So I'm not, I'm not going to show it until it is completely healed, but I got a Lily of the Valley and it was like a really, really quick tattoo. It took, I think 20 minutes total, including like getting everything prepared to be inked it was really fun i got it in london and yeah i'm really really happy with it it's definitely one of my smaller tattoos and i got it because this game got me through quarantine of 2020 and i got to communicate with like a lot of friends and family because i um so i live in england but my family's in the u.s and most of my friends are in the u.s as well so um, playing Animal Crossing was like the only thing that, not the only thing, but I got to connect with them and hang out with them on Animal Crossing. And I really, really liked it. It got me through a really, really rough time. So I appreciate, I appreciate Animal Crossing for doing that. And I just got to keep on bonding with my friends and family. I also got um, Wild World. I got a DSi. So we went to CEX, which is like a discount game shop, I believe. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I do think it's just like secondhand game stuff. And I got it for quite cheap. I got the whole thing for quite cheap. And it's quite fun. Is that Sky? Oh, that's not Sky, that's Whitney. She's pretty, but you're not Julia. but yeah so i got it it's quite fun i'm gonna say but i haven't been on in a few days it is very 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 different than new horizons um i so new horizons is my first animal crossing game but i played other games like um i didn't own any but i have played the other ones i think some of my friends i think one of my friends had new leaf and i played a little bit of pocket camp but i didn't really enjoy it that much so I bought Wild World because it was the cheapest Animal Crossing game there and I wanted to kind of see what it was like because I've heard that the personalities are very very different in the older games and my god they are. I feel like I can piss off the other villagers really really easily in Wild World whereas like here they're all really sweet which like I understand I mean it is like you know it's a kids game so I think they made a good decision but also like I am not a child. <laughs> So I really, I appreciate the sassiness of the wild world, wild world villagers. But I don't think I would have been able to deal with all the sassiness when I first started playing. Because I wanted happy things. And this is a happy game. But yeah, that was kind of cool to just kind of experience the difference of... Who are you? I don't know who this person is. I, it's definitely cranky, I feel like. Hello. That's not a cranky, that's a lazy. I just got a lazy. Stu is a lazy. I think either... I think 
my boyfriend had to do when I was in, but I also might be completely wrong. I don't actually know. Or maybe it was one of my friends who had stew on their island. I yeah, I, I'm not I'm not entirely sure. I I definitely don't think I could have handled um <gasps> Oh no, it's Farida! Oh no. Oh no, no. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, I love Marina! Oh, I still have 20 tickets left. Oh, I'm so sad. Oh no. I feel like I'm gonna regret this. Oh. Yeah. But anyways, what I was saying was that I don't think I could have handled Wild World if I would have played it when it came out because I was a very um a very sensitive child. I cried like at like literally anything. I feel like I would probably just feel like the villagers in Wild World were bullying me. <laughs> you know, maybe I should have played it. Maybe it would have like made me a little bit more tough. But I appreciate New Horizons and their friendliness. Although I like the sassiness of Wild World now. I forgot who I have. I have a wolf who's a cranky. And he always, I feel like I can recognize his footsteps. Maybe that's just me making things up. But, okay, come on. Oh. Oh, Rex is so cute. I love the lions because I am a Leo. <laughs> I was born in August, the 20th of August to be exact. Um, so I love lions. Um, I actually kind of want to get a tattoo, a Leo tattoo, but like a lion tattoo. Um, but I also don't, I don't know yet. I... I like to think on my tattoos for like at least four to six months before I actually start looking for um, before I start looking for artists and stuff and places to go. But it's been on my mind. But I also want to limit how many animals I get tattooed because I love animals. And if I were to get every single animal that I liked, um, I would have an entire sleeve of animals. And I don't want that i want kind of random stuff because i at the moment i have so i have one arm that is dedicated to a patchwork sleeve which currently i have dolphins i have a pair of dice i have the lily of the valley from animal crossing i have a butterfly is that it i think that's it i have uh two other tattoos though um, one is on my uh, left forearm, and that's a map of the world, and then I have a dragon on my ankle. So, see, like, dragon and dolphin and then butterfly, like, that's already, like, I know dragons aren't actually real, but you know what, like, they're kind of in the same category as, like, animals or living things. I don't know if that makes sense, but, like, I don't want to, ugh. I'm so sorry that I made that noise. That is, I'm sorry, that's one of the ugliest villages I've ever seen. <laughs> I, I personally don't like the bears. I think they're really poorly designed. And I know if my dad's watching this, he's gonna be offended because I know he has a bear. I forgot what the bear's name is, but I know that he has like a pink bear and he loves all of his villagers. So sorry, Dad. I didn't mean to offend you. I really don't like the bear villagers. But yeah. I'm trying to think of what else is going on in my life. My life is like quite tame at the moment. Um, I'm currently unemployed. 
which is fun. I can't really get a job because I have to wait. <gasps> is that Ham? Is that Hamlet? I have him on my OG island. Hamfrey. Why do I think Hamlet? I love him. He's so cute. But anyway, so yeah, I'm unemployed. I um, I have to. I applied for like a national insurance number, which I have to wait to get before I can apply. So, yeah, but I can never feel the effects of not really the effects but like it's just really weird not going back to school or anything because like i just i just graduated and i got a bachelor's degree and um one of my closest friends that i met at that uni is doing their masters so it's just really weird like everyone's going back and then i'm just not and it's like the first time like you know i've, I've been in school since i was like what kindergarten which I was like, I don't know, four or five. Probably, I think I was five. But yeah, so it's just really weird. Like, it's like, it's the first time. And I don't know, it's just a strange feeling. Like, all of my friends, um, I have a couple of friends who are younger than me who, you know, they're back, they're doing college in the US. And everyone's just complaining to me about all the workload and stuff. And I'm just like, I just watch Netflix all day. Really, like I can't really do much. Um, but I am going to take this time. I'm not taking it for granted, because I know the second that I actually get a job, I'm gonna be like, I wish I had more free time. So I'm enjoying the free time. I've been watching a lot of Netflix. I just um, watched Squid Game, which is a really good show, but I don't recommend it if you're not, if you don't like gore if you don't like really disturbing things because it is quite disturbing like who is this i rasher yep animal crossing really wants me to get a cranky sorry but i want a snooty villager yeah i really really enjoy squid game i think it's really good um it's a k-drama and i hi i've been watching k-drama since i was like 16 i think i started watching them with one of my friends and i really like them obviously growing up with hollywood and stuff i just like seeing the different ways that other countries do things and film like i i i have a bachelor's degree in film so obviously i'm really interested in that stuff oh is this money rock island well i have luck and get julia on this now chops i'm gonna get the rocks because i my dad um gave me some bells thank you dad i still want more money he's like a he's a major belly in it oh, f he's a major i can't why can't i get oh i need to no Oh my god i think i need to eat a cherry right no oh, my god. oh shoot we only have i have a spoiled turn up in my inventory oh no okay <laughs>
Are you joking? Crap. <laughs> I just realized I didn't. Oh, I'm mad. I'm a little bit mad. But it's okay. That happened to the last rock, so it's not that big of a deal. But I also didn't. I accidentally um, put holes where. Um, where the money would fall so i didn't get everything which was kind of annoying but i don't want chops okay let's see who it is oh my god why do i just keep getting the worst villagers um he i don't know he looks like i just don't like the beard or whatever is it is his saying stubble Anyways, I just don't- I don't like the way that they made his beard, or whatever the heck that is. <laughs> it doesn't look good. I'm trying to think what else. Has anyone else been watching any cool Netflix shows? Do I have any oranges on my island? I don't actually know. I'm gonna- I'm gonna take a few. So the, um, computer that I'm filming this on has different graphic settings than the Switch. And it's all very- where the heck? Why? Ugh, I don't even know- is Tank new? Who the heck is Tank? Let me check in my notebook of villagers. I swear he doesn't exist. I mean, obviously he exists. But okay, um... Is he a hippo? I don't have him. Or is he- a, no, he's a rhino. I'm really stupid, sorry. <laughs> he does exist. I just- I like his, um, kind of reminds me of, like, Californian surfer dudes. I think it's because his hair is, like, a leaf. I think- I don't know. He's- uh, now that I've seen him, I think he's kind of cool. But I don't need him. He is a jock, so- Unfortunately, I'll see him at another time once he does arrive on my island. Have you guys watched any good Netflix series? Because I would like to know because I would like some recommendations. Because um, I, I finished Squid Game and because it's only one season. And I kind of want to watch Alice in Borderlands. But I tried watching the first episode and it, um, I didn't really like it that much. Um... I think I would have enjoyed it more like a couple years ago because that was definitely more my style. Um, but maybe I'll, I'll try to watch it again. I think we're going to start chewing gum tonight. Oh, it's a cute cup. We're going to start chewing gum and I am watching Bojack Horseman with my dad. I've already watched it. Um, I watched it a few times actually, but I really enjoy the show. It's it's deep and it, it it gets dark, but I think it's a really really good show. Um, we'll see. But yeah, if you guys have any recommendations of what you guys have been watching, do let me know. Sex education is all over my TikTok. Why do I keep getting rhinos? So I mean, it looks fun. I also know basically everything about all the characters because of my TikTok for you page. I know I went through an ASMR. Um, phase to sleep as well when i was in high school it i was watching like a yarn cutting asmr um but that was the only thing i could watch i couldn't fall asleep to any other asmr oh i'm just how many more tickets do i have left i have 10 no i don't want you I hope- I mean, I know they can't hear me, but I hope they don't remember <laughs> me saying all these things on the villager hunts. Because I will be seeing them. They will be living on my island. I'm thinking about maybe um, turning this channel into a little bit of a gaming channel. I mean, it obviously already is, but maybe not focusing on Animal Crossing. Because I play a lot of Sims 4, and um, 
I currently can't do that right now because I don't have a good enough computer to um, record Sims 4 on. It can barely run it. I have a MacBook. Eventually, I do want to get a gaming computer. Um, not just for The Sims 4. I play a lot of other stuff as well. But um, I know that The Sims 4... I want to play it on like ultra high graphics. And right now, it's like all on low. Because <laughs> it, it really is a different game if it's on the ultra settings. Um, I don't know if anyone else plays Sims 4, but I tend to play life simulation games. I play Stardew Valley as well, and I don't play it the way- I don't think I play it the way it's intended to be, because I play it like The Sims, and I'm really, really behind. And the story? Because I know the story. <gasps> oh, it's the original Renee. I miss her, I'm gonna be honest. I cried when she left. Hi! Oh my god. I'm not gonna have two Renees. Do I have the Renee? Oh my god. I am. I'm honestly so bad. I can't remember which. I do have this Renee. Yeah, but I'm not gonna have two Renees on my island because that would get really confusing. <laughs> but yeah, I'm thinking about turning this into a gaming channel just so I can play some Sim stuff. I really like to do legacy challenges because um, I, I love how genetics work in real life. And I know The Sims isn't that. The Sims is kind of, it's really interesting. So I've had three generations. Well, I'm doing generations on The Sims, like a legacy. You're definitely not Julia. Oh, this is a repeat. I'm not going to talk to her because I've already talked to her. We're already getting repeats, but we're not getting Julia. Oh. I'm not happy. But anyways, um, so I'm doing like a legacy challenge and I've recently played with like three generations, but they all have the mother's face. So we've had the same face in that family for three whole generations and it's just like they don't it literally just looks like the mother's kid and they've all been daughters um but i my most recent one one of the kids looks actually like a mix of her mother and her father so i'm going to continue with her for the next one but her sister looks exactly like her mother it's i, I don't understand i don't understand how how that's happened for many, many generations. Like, I honestly thought my game was bugged or something. But then, obviously, Luna, that's the Sims name. She actually looks like a mix. I am begging for it to be Julia. It, it's not Julia, but I know who... Is this, is this Julian? Is it Julian? It's Julian. It's not Julia. I like Julian though. I think it's cool. We are not looking for him. Okay, so we have seven tickets left. Oh, I don't like this. I remember when I was villager hunting for Zucker on my OG islands, like well over a year ago now. Um. I couldn't find him until the very, very last ticket. And that thing, the thing was, I only had like five tickets. So, oh, I really hope Julia comes. I really hope Julia comes before because I want to save the tickets for the next villager hunt because I'm going to be doing a lot of villager hunting quite soon just because uh, I need to, I need to fill up some plots. Okay, come on, come on. Julia, 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 Julia. <sighs> ah. It's not Julia, it's another lion. I like this lion though. Is <laughs> it Elvis? <laughs> he definitely is like the embodiment of a Leo. Like, look at the way that he dresses. But, yeah. Oh, I'm really disappointed. Oh, six tickets. 
shoot. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna speed run the next one. So it'll be fast forwarding. And then I'll just speed run it until we get to the last one. If we don't get Julia. Maybe the, maybe if I say this, the next one will actually be Julia. So let's hope that that is what's going to happen. So maybe I'll see you guys soon. Maybe I'll see you on the last ticket. Who is this one? It's the first eagle we've seen. Who are you? Um, definitely Jacques. Okay. That's not Julia. Oh, it's Zell, isn't it? I think Zell and I share a birthday. I'm not sure, maybe it's not Zell. It's a kangaroo though. I love the kangaroo because of the little um, pout. It's not Julia, but I don't know who this is. I can't tell. Is it a frog? Oh, it's so cute. <gasps> Is that camel frog? Now it's drift. 
No. Oh, I'm losing hope. I don't. Oh my god, I'm. I'm just... Oh my god. I'm so nervous. <laughs> please be Julia. Please be Julia. Please be Julia. Please be Julia. It's Muddy Rock Island again. No. disappointed I might as well I don't even have a shovel I can't even do money rock okay well that is for sure disappointing recorded for an hour and two minutes no Julia I am sad. I really hope she autofills, even though I'm going to be a little bit upset if she autofills as well, because I just waited, wasted 27 tickets to try and find her when she was just in my queue. That'd be quite annoying. Ah, uh, well, I'm going to record again tomorrow, so this isn't actually the last bit of the video, but um, I'll see you guys tomorrow and then we'll see who autofills the plot. Hey guys, so you can see that it is the next day and let's go see who has taken the place of what was supposed to be Julia's. Maybe it is still Julia's. Who knows? That's Stu, he has moved in. Alright, let's see who it is. Bruce? Who the heck is Bruce? Hold on, let me just look him up really quickly. So I can see that he is a cranky deer villager. So I was correct with the game wanting me to get a cranky villager because we saw a lot of cranky villagers when we were villager hunting. So um, I'm a little disappointed because I really wanted a snooty one, but you know what? I mean, like I said, I have to get Bruce anyways at some point in time, so might as well have him now. But hopefully I do think that the next villager hunt, we will be looking for Julia again. We'll, we'll see, maybe. Maybe we won't, but because um, the past two were auto-filled, I want to do another villager hunt. Um, I have to get some Nook Mile tickets before I can do that, because I don't have... I have 8,000 Nook Miles left, so I can't do a lot of tickets. But thank you for watching. Um, if you like this video, you can go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And comment down below your favorite snooty villager if you have one, or any villager that you really, really like. Because maybe I'll give me some ideas on what um, villagers to look for on future villager hunts. But yeah, thank you so much. Um, I hope you have a really nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!